Good morning, Aileen. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Today's date is October 29th, and the day of recognition is Breast Cancer Awareness Week at Aileen and National Cat Day. Now over to Mrs. Clifton. Good morning, Falcons. A special thank you to Mr. Mendoza and his leadership students for helping out with the pound cake breakfast this morning for our ninth graders. Ninth graders have that special opportunity today to take the PSAT test. Therefore, we will not be having any bells until 11 o'clock today. So staff, teachers, please pay close attention to the schedule that was sent out in the email and dismiss students um, without the bell but by the clock. Also, staff, if you could be in the halls to monitor and help students uh, maintain a quiet level so that our ninth graders can focus while taking the test, that would be super helpful. Another announcement regarding the PSAT test is that the library is closed because there's testing happening in the library. So if any students have technical challenges with their computers, they need to either wait until after testing around 11 o'clock to go to the library for help or um, call EdTech with your teacher's help at 8600. Now let's move on to Aileen Strong tickets. We have Lucas Benny, Mr. Mendoza says, is service oriented and together. He did an excellent job as foreman in the shop. Khalil McCallum, Mrs. Fredrickson said, was scholastic by sharing ideas in science. Good job, Khalil. Lucas Benny, Mrs. Waring, said helped with extra cleanup and organizing. That's two for Lucas today. That was being service oriented. And finally, Sage, Mrs. Longshore said, was very responsible as she was quiet and respectful when she arrived in class. So stop by the office to pick up your prize and make it a great day. The start of the next sports season is right around the corner at Aylen. Girls basketball and wrestling both begin on Tuesday, November 12th. Mr. Justino will have sign-ups available at both lunches this week. In order, to, in order to participate, you must be cleared. Information can be found in the office or in Mr. Justino's room in 153. Both sports are, re, are a require a baseline concussion screening too. Information about a baseline screening can also be found in the office. If you played football for Aylin this year, you already have this. Girls who played volleyball or cross country would need one unless you had one last year. Get signed up and be ready to play on November 12th. Attention Aylin students, the Aylin Weight Room Club is now open. Weight will be open every Tuesday and Thursday except October 24th from 6.30 to 7.15 a.m. Gym doors will be open at 6.20 and will close at 6.30. Arrive on time as we will not let students in that are late. Arrive dressed for activity as the locker rooms will not be open again until 7.15. Again, weight room club will be open every Tuesday and Thursday from 6.30 to 7.15 a.m. Please arrive dressed to lift weights and please do not be late. Please empty your class recycle bins before the end of fifth period today. Support center will be taking the big gray recycle bins in the hallway. Mr. Belcher, can you please come to the counseling center? Mr. Belcher? Um, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Week, and ribbons, pins, wristbands, and paper ribbons are on sale on the stage this week. Pink Out Day is October 31st. Now for today's birthdays. Today's birthdays are Samantha Schramm and Alex Swalk, and the famous birthday is painter Bob Ross. And the Snapple fact of the day is Americans on average eat 18 acres of pizza a day. Aylin, have a great day. <laughs>